Hello boys and girls. Guess what time it is? It's story time. Hello everyone. Welcome back to another story time with Miss Marcia. So if this is your first time here, thank you for dropping by. I hope you like the content. And if you're a continued subscriber, thank you for your continued support. Always appreciate it. So as we normally do on story time with Miss Marcia, before we get into our story, so this is read aloud. So before we get into our read aloud book, let us sing our song together. It's story time, it's story time. You haven't got to pay a dime. If you want to have some fun, get a comfy seat and sit right down. Now listen very carefully, for you can learn as much as me. Make believe in what you hear, these stories I shall read to you. La 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 overcoat. Joseph had a little overcoat by Sims Tabak. So we're gonna see how this overcoat transformed, how it changed over the years. So let's check out this book. Joseph had a little overcoat and it is a Caldecott medal on a book. So let's dig in. There's a lot of illustrations, right? We see pins and needles on a pin cushion. We see thread, we see scissors, we see fruits and vegetables and flowers and button. Okay, so we see a lot of different things here. So. Okay, so Joseph had a little overcoat. He wore the coat for a long time. And then something happened to it. And there's a moral too. So let's check it out. Joseph had a little overcoat. It was old and worn. So that's Joseph's overcoat. So he made a jacket out of it and he went to the fair. So that's Joseph's overcoat changed into a jacket. He changed it and he went to a fair. Joseph had a little jacket. It got old and worn. See, patches and everything. Let's see what's gonna happen now. So he made a vest out of it and danced at his nephew's wedding. So you see, from a coat to a jacket to a vest. Let's see what's next. Joseph had a little vest. It got old and worn. So we see all some of those other things that we saw at the beginning of the book. So he made a scarf out of it and sang in the men's choir. See his calf? Joseph had a little scarf. It's cold now, he needs that. It got old and worn. So what does Joseph do with it? So he made a necktie out of it and went to visit his married sister in the city. So he made a tie. Joseph had a little necktie. It got old and worn. What do you think he's making with it next? 
let us find out. So he made a handkerchief out of it and drank a glass of hot tea with lemon. Joseph had a little handkerchief. See, he's blowing his nose with it. It got old and worn. So what's next? So he made a button out of it. Can you see it? And used it to fasten his suspenders. Anything else you think? Joseph had a little brown button. One day, he lost it. So now he's looking. Ooh. No, he had nothing. So Joseph made a book about it, which shows you can always make something out of nothing. So he wrote a book. The end. Okay, before we move on, let's see the changes that took place. So what was the first thing that Joseph had? He had a coat. What's the next thing he made out of his coat? Can you remember? Yes, you're correct. He made a jacket. After the jacket, what did he make? Let's see if you can remember. He made a vest. And then after the vest, what did Joseph make when it became too old? You're right, he made a scarf. After the scarf, when it became too old, Joseph made a necktie. Right? So after the necktie, Joseph made a handkerchief. So he used it while he was eating and he also used it to blow his nose. And when that became old, what did Joseph make? He used it to cover buttons, to hold up his suspenders. And then after that, it disappeared. The buttons got lost. But then he ended up writing a book out of it. He turned all his adventures, all the changes that took place with his overcoat into a book. <laughs> so that is, that is so much fun. So thank you for joining us on Storytime with Miss Marcia. If you enjoyed the story, please consider subscribing, like, share, comment. I would really love to hear from you. And I will see you next time around on another Storytime with Miss Marcia. Take care now. Adios. Bye.